Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hiya Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting and very tricky question, we need to simplify this expression. We have square root of square root of 9 minus square root of 8. If you have your answer or your thoughts, you can also write it in the comments below and you will be shocked about the correct answer, because this is this question is very, is very tricky. A lot of students might be thinking, okay, square root of 9 minus square root of 8, maybe this is equal to 1 and square root of 1 is the correct answer, but square root of 1 or 1 is absolutely wrong answer. So right now let's try to figure out how can we how can we solve this question. First of all, square root of 9 equal to 3. Everyone knows about it. So let's let's start with that. So we have square root of <clears throat> we have square root of 9 equal to 3 minus square root of 8. How can we express that? This is not a table case, but in the same way we can express that as for example 2 times 4. Let's do it. So square root of we have 2 times 4. Right now we have a product and we have square root. So in terms of in terms of our square root property, we can easily apply this one. So square root of a <coughs> times b. We can ex express this as square root of a times square root of b. So we can easily split it. And right now let's apply this property right here at this place. As a result, what do we have? Square root of <coughs> 3 minus square root of 2 times square root of times square root of 4. So I hope you understand it. Okay, right now, square root of 4 equal to equal to 2. Everyone knows about it. This is our table case. So our question looks like that. Square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2. So this our, looks like this is our maximum. So we can't simplify this more. We find, we simplify it, we split it. So what are we going to do next? The best way to solve this question from here is to create a square inside of a square root sign. So what I mean right now, for, for example, imagine I just want to write it. For example, let's go over it here. We have enough space. So for example, we have square root of, we have, for example, square root of a square. So everyone knows that we can easily cancel our square root sign and we can cancel our 2. So as a result we have only our a, but not a, but absolute value. This is a correct way how can we express this. But in the same way, as you can see right here, we cancel square root sign and we cancel this square. So it simplifies us a lot. So right now, instead of this 3 minus 2 square root of 2, let's try to create a square. So what I mean square? Just look at it. So right now, let's just look at this from a different angle. Let's write this 3. So instead of this 3, let's write 2 plus 1. Okay, let's do it right now. So instead of 3, we're going to write 2 plus 1. So we have 2 plus 1 minus this one, 2 square root of 2, minus 2 square root of 2. But I recommend you one really important and tricky moment. Let's multiply this expression by square root of 1. It changed nothing, but in the same way it helps us a lot. So just look closely at this expression. 2 plus 1 instead of this 3, and we have 2 square root of 2 times square root of 1. So absolutely the same expression without any like global changes. So we just write instead of this 3, we just write this sum. But one really important moment, instead of this 2, if we write square root of 2 to the second power, and instead of this one, when we write square root of 1 to the second power, we can easily do this. This is the same 2, this is the same 1. So just, just look at it. What will happen when we write it in, in terms of these two, not like substitution, this is the same value, but we write it in terms of square root. So instead of these two, we're going to write square root of 2 to the second power, so square root of 2 to the second power, Plus, instead of this 1, we're going to write square root of 1 to the second power and minus 2 square root of 2 times square root of 1. And right now, I really hope you know about algebra formulas. About algebra formulas. And I really hope you know about this formula. A minus B square. So this formula. And this formula equal to A square plus B square plus B square and minus 2A to a b and right now i just want i am um, in purpose i just write it in the bottom of this expression because just just let's let's analyze this real quick so we have this formula just don't pay attention to this formula just don't look at it on the left side but look on the right side so a square plus b square minus 2 a b and let's look at our question so what we had on the top some numbers for example let's call it as a yeah this is our a and we have a square every everything is great for example square root of one is our b so we have b square we have two and we have a square root of 2, and we have b square root of 1. So this is exactly our case. So we can easily apply this formula. From here, we can write that our a is equal to square root of 2, and our b is equal to square root of 1, but I just want to write it as 1. And according to this formula, we can easily express all of the thing by this one. 
a, we can easily change this by a minus b to the second power. But don't forget about square root, so we're going to continue from here, yeah? So we're going to continue from here. So we have square root, square root, long square root. And instead of this expression, we're going to write a minus b to the second power. So we have a square root of 2 minus b minus 1 to the second power. So I really hope you understand this part. I really hope you understand it. Mm, nothing hard, I guess. Just want to, uh, just uh, really great to see how you how you solve this how you solve this part so i really hope you understand it and right now as i said before whenever you have this expression to the second power you need you can easily cancel this and we have absolute value of a and exactly the same case so we can easily cancel it and as a result we have absolute value of square root of 2 minus 1 right now i'm going to say a few words about this absolute value because a lot of students forget about this absolute value but this absolute value is extremely extremely important extremely important part so what does it mean absolute value it means that this if expression is positive then you need to put positive sign if this expression is negative you need to put negative sign before parentheses in our case square root of 2 is greater than 1 yeah square root of 2 is greater than 1 so this absolute value is positive, so our answer is square root of 2 minus 1. And as you can see right here, we simplify this uh, simplify this expression. So let's write our final answer to this question. And in the end, I'm going to say a few really important tips. Really important tip, a lot, tips, a lot of students uh, forget about it. So right now, I'm going to say a few really important tips. So our answer, our answer to this question. So square root of, square root of 9 minus square root of 8 equal to square root of 2 minus 1. And if you're interested in approximately answer, because you know a lot of students uh, knows about square root of 2. The square root of 2 equal to 1.41. Yeah, uh, and we have minus 1. So this expression is approximately equal to 0 0.41. It's not necessary, just in case right here we knows about we know about square root of 2. Yeah, and you can easily see it's it's also really great for, for you and for your teacher that you find approximately approximately answer. But the final answer is right here. Here, square root of 2 square root of 2 minus 1 right now a few thoughts about this absolute value because you know a lot of students might be asking why do we need this absolute value because without absolute value we have and with absolute value and without absolute value we have absolutely the same answer just look at it so a few few tips few hints from me when you have for example square root of square root of uh, for example in our case we have uh, square root of 2 minus 1 but when we have for example 1 minus square root of 2 to the second power and as i said before we need to write the same thing yeah we need to cancel it yeah we need to cancel this expression this one, and we need to write 1 minus square root of 2 but this is not the good way how can you solve this you need to put absolute value brackets 1 minus square root of 2 and right now you need to analyze the sign of this expression 1 minus square root of 2 of course square root of 2 is greater than 1 as I, as I said before right here so it means that this expression is negative so we have minus of course 1 minus square root of 2 and if, about, because of this minus we need to change all the signs so we have square root of 2 minus square root of 2 minus 1 extremely important one one more one more uh, example for example we have like square root of let's let's write it like that so we have like let's go with the 2 minus uh, what do we have 2 minus square root of 13 something like that square yeah we have this type of expression yeah of course we can easily cancel this real quick and don't forget about absolute value 2 minus square root of 13 and of course this expression positive or negative of course this expression is negative because 2 is less than square root of 13 because 2 is even less than square root of 9 yeah so as a result we have negative sign 2 minus square root of 13 and as a result we have square root of 13 minus 2 yeah this they think extremely important part i just want you to understand that absolute value is extremely important um, part in our question so once more to the solution real quick so a lot of students might be thinking that 1 is a correct answer out of nowhere because square root of 9 minus square root of 8 they think that maybe 1 here and square root of uh, 1 equal to 1 not like that so right here we have we need to simplify this a little bit and at this point you need to think a little bit how can we express it how can we simplify it the best way is to create a square but this is not maybe the common case because sometimes happen that you can't create a square but exactly in this case in these two lines you can easily see that we create difference right here difference and we erase this difference to the second power we have exactly that case and if you understand this part you can easily pause the video you can if you understand this one you will understand 
this question because then you can easily cancel this square root sign with this square and we have we have our answer and in this case we can find even uh, you can even find approximately answer because everyone knows about square root of 2 so we can easily find uh, approximately answer 0.41 but this is up to you it's also great but this is this is up to you our final answer is this one square root of 2 and uh, square root of 2 minus uh, 1 so this is my solution to this question I really hope you understand it I really hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel but if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel, a lot of different challenges. Right now you can see this challenge, I move slowly, I hope you understand my solution, I hope you understand my explanation. You can also write your thoughts in the comments below, write your response, write your answer, let's discuss a little bit about this type of question, and of course, see you in the next videos, have a great day, and take care of yourself!